My name is James Williams Jr. and this is part three of the Why My Acting Career Hasn't Taken Off videos. Um, this should be the final video because the other two were incredibly long. So we're going to try to shorten this out. You know, I've, I've, I've done enough bitching about the studio here in Virginia that won't give anybody a job or refuses to make movies but they produce them and things like that. And that's fine and dandy. That's their business. That's their prerogative and that's okay. But see here, I'm not the only actor in Charlottesville, Virginia that wants to stay in Virginia but work. But we can't work if there are no writers writing movies. If there are no studios that here making movies. It kind of puts us in a uh, would you like fries for that? Because that's about the only acting we're doing. We're acting like we're pretending to enjoy you while we're handing you your food. I do dinner theater, if there was one. But the only dinner theater I could ever do would be like Kabuki, because it's the only shit I know. It's the only way I can use my martial art talent to do things to impress people. Where if I'm doing Shakespeare or something, I would totally fucking suck. Now, if I'm doing a comedy, you might get a good laugh if you look at my face. You're like, oh yeah, this guy's funny looking. We don't even have to laugh at his jokes. Just look at his face and start laughing. That is insulting, but true. They might just look at my face and start giggling like, what the fuck is this guy? You know, he's got stringy hair, but his color is brown. His ass is going down. So, you know, it's a thing. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I could probably succeed as a comedian if I just am allowed to just be a smart ass all fucking day long because I'm I kind of that's kind of like one of my things you know but the thing is you know you have to be bankable someone has to look at you and be like that's the guy I want that guy right there he can make money all we have to do is put him in the right environment and let him soar and that's generally how careers work uh Danny Trio you know, the guy that plays Machete. Badass dude. Been acting forever. Token Mexican guy. There's not a lot of Mexican actors that are really trying to do the things that he's done. You know, there are a couple of them. And some Puerto Ricans and others, you know, but he's full-blown Mexican. And it's just like my few idols that are acting, you know, Al Leon. He's one of my favorite Asian actors. The only thing I hate about Al Leon's career is that he has died in every fucking movie he's been in. He's been killed by Brandon Lee. He's been killed by Dolph Lundgren. He may have been killed by Jet Li. But he's been dead in every movie except for one that I've seen him in that he did not die. And that movie was Double Dragon with Mark Dacascos and the dude that played the Liquid Terminator who's now currently on Scorpion. I can't remember his name. And um, Scott Wolf and Alyssa Milano. That's the only movie I've seen Al Leon in where he has not died. But I love Al Leon. He is the baddest dying Asian man ever. He dies in everything. Now, okay, let's, while we're on the subject of Asian men, my dream job would be in one movie with at least three of these guys, or all three together, or just one guy. I don't want to be beaten up by them, but I want to be in this movie with them. I would love to be in a movie with Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and Sammo Hung. Can't go back in time and be in a movie with Bruce Lee, but if I could, yeah, he would be the number one choice. But those three guys, and Donnie Yen, you guys are sleeping on Donnie Yen. But that's just the ones that are in Asia. Now, if you want to talk about the ones here in America that I want to work with, first off the bat, key symbol, Wizard, Larry Lamb. I would love to work with him. Ernie Reyes Jr., they kind of running in a tie. But me and Ernie are about the same age and we almost look alike. So I would love to be in the movie with both of them. Uh, Kian Nguyen, Tsunami, you know, the WMAC Masters. There's not an Asian actor there that I wouldn't want to work with, especially Murmur Chin, because I have the biggest crush on her. Have no idea where they are now. But, you know, I could have been a WMAC Master if I was offered the opportunity. But I wasn't. I'd like to work with Kid Carmichael Simon. I don't know his real name, but that was the stage name that they gave him. And Yin Yang Man. Eric Brandon, or Derek Brandon, or Brandon something. I can't remember, but he has a patch, and he's a badass. And he likes to use the monkey stick, which is another one of my favorite martial arts skills, using the monkey stick. So, you know, and Tiger Claw, and Willie the Bam. I am a big WMAC fan, so, and Eric Betts. So there's not any one of them that I wouldn't want to work with. And another American actress that I would have loved to work with in a movie 
is Cynthia Rothrock. These are people who have made an impact in martial arts and made an impact in my life, which made me think, you know, I can do that. But I want to be a cop first. So once I fell in love with acting, you know, Chuck Jeffries, Gary Daniels, I want to be in movies with these guys. Even if they're low budget, someone's going to see them somewhere. I don't want to be a big star. I just want to be working. You understand? And Kathy Long, my favorite Kathy Long movie of all time, is Nights. They should have made a sequel, even though Elijah Woods blew up. His character blew up, and all you see him is in the like big time movies, so you don't get to see him in the low budget stuff. But you know, I would have killed to be in those shoes, you know. And the thing, the thing with acting is, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, you're selling out. You're selling out." No, we're working. There's a difference, because you know, sometimes your records don't sell, and when your records don't sell or your movies don't sell, you have to work. You understand? If you ever see a story about an actor that was up here and then go completely bankrupt and then they're down here and they're stealing and stuff, hey, that shit's not fake. All right? You know, Kimberly from Different Strokes, she went to hell and back and then she passed away. And then Gary Coleman, not too long ago, same stuff. And Ty Bridges seems to be him and Charlotte Ray seem to be the only two living out of that whole thing and um, Kim Fields. But you know, the thing is, People are like, well, aren't you afraid of typecasting? So to quote Bud Bundy, I don't want to be typecast. Now we're going to quote James Williams Jr. Is that paycheck green? Yes. Typecast the fuck out of me. It's like, you know, you're only famous for one word. Cool. I'll take it. You just make sure that check cashes with my name on it when it's time to go. All right, so let me, let me, let me throw y'all back to when I first started. When I first started, my stage name was going to be Brandon Kramer. All right, now let me explain that. Because Stephanie Kramer was my favorite actress. Had a big old crush on her. Wanted to have lots of babies with her. Pipe dream, yes. Didn't even know if she would even like somebody young and crazy like me. But anyway, not just because of my color. But anyway, my other dream was to work with Brandon Lee, but he died in North Carolina just as I was about to graduate high school. And I would have enjoyed working with the son of the legend who was becoming a legend, who was getting really, really big, and then his career went way to the west side. So, you know, that kind of made me want to do it more. And unfortunately, every Halloween since he's died, people have mistaken me for the crow when I was Sting, and for Sting when I was the crow. So, you know, and hell, I would love to play the crow. You know, Mark DeCosco's re revamped it with the, the Crow Still Way to Heaven, which was a good show. I wish it would have got more than one season, but it was a great show. So, you know, I would love to have my own show and do things like that. But like I said, this is a cutthroat business. In this business, you have to have thick skin. You have to accept the word no. Whether you like it or not, it's a big-ass part of your vocabulary, and you have to be willing to deal with that. And if you're not, this is not for you. I have been trying to get into acting since the year 2000, 2001. It is now 2016. The closest damn thing I've come to acting is my own independent films and this channel. So since I'm having so many problems, I'm fixing on quitting. No, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm fixing on giving up and quitting. And giving up has never been something that I've ever, 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 ever in my life done. I'm not a quitter. And I usually never give up. However, for medical reasons, I may not have a choice. So I'm going to put all my stuff up on here. And you guys are either going to enjoy it or you got to give me the finger. I mean, there's only two things that you really can do. You can either enjoy it or you can give me the finger. I will respect your opinion either way. You know, there's nothing I can do. I can't change your opinion with my fist. But this right here, I'm not quitting because I want to. I'm quitting because I don't have a shot. I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of getting my acting career off the ground. So it's high time I venture off into something else. There's nothing else for me to do. Because changing my voice does not work. And there are no voice actors. I can't get an agent. Because changing my voice still does not work. It does not help me. And though I can talk like a demon for about five minutes if I really wanted to, I really don't have a chance in making this world a better place. So if you're reading this or hearing this, you can understand that I can act a little bit. 
I may not be able to act my way out of a wet paper bag, but I can change my voice at the drop of a hat. I also can change my voice so softly I can play high-pitched talking men who live alternative lifestyles. But I'm not really willing to do that, you know. Everything else, optional. But I would prefer to make kung fu movies, scary movies, action movies, sci-fi movies. No dramas. I don't think I'm ever going to be good enough to be a drama actor. Although sometimes I do wish that I was from Britain. Because actors that come from other countries seem to have a lot of success here. I have honestly, truly to God, thought about pulling a Tootsie. Okay, let me explain that because a lot of you people are too damn young to know what the fuck Tootsie is. Tootsie was Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman dressed up as a girl. The more recent version of Tootsie would be known as Miss Doubtfire. And if you're too young to know what the fuck that is, Google them. Okay? Because, yeah, I've worn a dress before. It's not the first time I've been in a dress. My big sister beat me up once and put me in a dress and locked me outside. So that wasn't cool, but it was done. All right? Now, as for the other times I've worn a dress, I've probably worn them willingly. But, you know, joking around and all that, you'd be surprised at the things you do to humor children. So, my name is James Williams Jr., and I am the actor that you've never heard of, and you probably never will. And after these videos go up, you probably won't even give a damn of who I am. But acting is a cutthroat business. So this is why I haven't had the opportunities that other actors have had. I've gone on the independent circuit because it's the only chance I'm ever going to get. So, in closing, I would like you all to know how difficult it is to get into acting. And how easy it is to get out. Relevance is everything. So when actors start making scandals, it's because they're not working. And if they're not working, there's a good chance that they may never work again. So let's go out to a club and punch somebody in the face. Get a mugshot. Yay! Get a reality show. Yay! You know, yes, they get paid to go on these reality shows. It's all part of the contract. You know, because now that they've seen that you can act, now they want to know how you actually are in real life. Let's go, for instance, I know I was closing out. I'm sorry. I might as well go ahead and continue to the 20-minute mark. Like, um, these love shows, like, that used to come on MTV and shit like that. You know, they're still human. They still want to have love, even if they want to have sex. They still need someone to have it with. No one wants to masturbate all the fucking time. You know, not that actors and stars admit to masturbating. I'm pretty sure that everybody has masturbated at least once in their lifetime. Maybe twice, because nobody can love you like you. Katie Morgan, good quote. Anyhow, you know, I have honestly thought about going the way of the porn stars. I mean, I don't have anything to lose. And the world's probably going to see me naked sooner or later. It's just a matter of time. You know, hey, if you guys want to see me naked, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm more than willing to do so. I'm more than willing to post for Playgirl magazine as long as I get a green check. You know, fly me out to California, take about five or six snapshots. Uh, let me know if you want me to erect or not. I'm ready to go. You know, all you need is one woman to walk around in front of me and dance and spring those breasts out. And I promise you, she'll get a sight that she'll never forget. And neither with a cameraman. But anyway, you know, the, the whole thing is, you have to be able to to transcend and ascend to be in this business you must be one of those people who are willing to give everything you have and give up everything you have but in the end you will be asking yourself was it worth it is it worth it could I have gone about it a better way well here's the thing about that if you ask a Hollywood actor would they change anything and most of them will probably say not really you know, I, I got on the right path, I met the right people, I got good at my craft, and I'm making money. If you ask a porn star, it's like, well, you know, some porn stars, you can take this any way you want, you can take it the wrong way, you can take it the right way, but I promise you, some of these porn stars can fucking actually act. And the reason why they're not actors is because they were never given the chance by the right people to see them actually perform. If you see, uh, it's a movie with Sasha Gray in it. She actually can fucking act. And there's a um, couple other porn stars that actually can act too. And it, they're good movies. If you take out the porn, they're still good movies. You no. Know? But, I mean, if you're not given a shot, 
and all you can do is fuck for a living, yeah, hey, I mean, you gotta do what works. So, like I said, would I do porn? Fuck yeah. Only straight porn, and only with Asian women. Sorry. I had to put that out there. But, you know, I can live with the aftermath of that. And most people can't. When I come home to Virginia, you know, people are like, yeah, you're making porn. And I'll be like, I'm getting paid to have sex. I'm like a male prostitute, and I don't have to work that hard for booty. Okay, now here's where things go wrong. If you ever watch the Showtime, The Family Business, All Hell Seymour Butts, or if you ever watch any, like, real sex or any of those things like that, there's a whole lot more of a dichotomy that goes with making porn. It's just like making an actual movie. You know, you, you have to have takes. You have to be able to keep wood even when you have to stop. So in come the fluff girls and all those stuff. Look, I'm 42 years old. I've done my research. If you don't believe me, Google this shit. You know. So while you're checking all this crap out, you know, it's not that I'm promoting porn, because fuck yeah, I'll do it. You know, the the pay ain't even gotta be right. Just let me get to pick the chicks that I want. And if they're willing and, you know, we're down with everything, then we're good to go. Cause James is ready to go. But I give myself a porn star name. Fuck no. Will I wear a mask? Maybe. Maybe not. There's like no way in hell I'm ever going to be a Power Ranger. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really considering porn. You know. Um, but you know, it, it, that's like if all else fails. But by the time I actually get a chance, I'll probably be like 50. Hopefully I'll still look as good as I do now at 50 because I'm 42 now. So you know, I'm dabbling in things that I probably shouldn't now that we're talking but, you know, to be honest, I want to do something in the entertainment field. It is not an easy business to get into. I kid you not. This is not an easy business to get into. And you must have thick ass skin. So in closing, if you guys want more videos like this, you know, the drill. I'm James Williams Jr. Williams out. Kung Fu Havoc 2, bitches!